next problem is we are going to discuss on the hyperbola so the question what it is construct a hyperbola when the distance of the focus so focus is nothing but what a fixed point f okay from the directrix the directrix is nothing but what it is a fixed straight line the vertical line and is equal to 65 mm so the distance from the directrix and this point focus is about 65 mm and draw the normal and tangent at a distance of 50 mm so we will draw the normal and tangent which is at a distance of 50 mm and eccentricity value is about 3 by 2 the eccentricity value is 3 by 2 so which it is the value is greater than 1 ok if the eccentricity value is greater than 1 it is called as what a hyperbola right so in some of the cases in the questions they may not give you the it is a not an uh, uh, it is not a hyperbola ok and just they will give the value of what the eccentricity by seeing the value of the eccentricity uh, we need to tell the conic section it is as a hyperbola so first thing is that we need to draw the vertical line that is the directrix and horizontal line that is the axis so now we need to measure the distance of 65 mm in order to find out the focus point so here we have got the focus point F right so so mention the dimension here it is about sixty five mm okay now here by seeing the essential value is three by two so it is having what about five division so we need to divide this distance of the directrix to this focus point into five equal parts with normally the dividing line process method so draw an inclined line to your own way and take out the compass divide this into five equal parts so taking the compass here so one two three four and five so we got five equal parts one two three four and five okay with the help of the drafter you need to join this focus point and this last point so what is 50 million got it? You need to join mm -hmm. that thing compulsory. So many of them won't join the thing. Okay, because you are dividing this distance into five equal parts. So draw carefully, you have to divide this line into five equal parts. Okay. Now take out the drafter. So place it at the point F and this last point and join it this point. Okay. Fix the drafter tightly here. I draw the remaining dimensions, so the remaining portion. Right? So now we have divided this into how many equal parts? Five equal parts. So here we know the distance, that is the distance from the directrix. Sorry the distance from the focus divided by the distance from the directrix so 3 is the distance from the focus at the fixed point here and the 2 is the distance from the directrix so take the point from 1, 2 so here are getting the vertex point V so till now I have done the construction line so I use the glue sketch so this thing must be drawn with the what? 2 edge grade pencil only the conic section that is the hyperbola must be drawn with the H grade pencil. Okay? And the normal and the tangent too. Right? So now at the point V you need to draw the vertical line with the help of the protractor. So take out the 
protractor, place it at the V and point out the 90 degrees here. And join this OE. In order to get the point F dash. In order to get the point F dash. So take out the compass now. So tighten it properly and measure the distance of V to the F. And cut down the arc here in order to get the F dash. Okay, F dash. So join this F dash point. Okay, take out the scale. So from this point of the junction on the directrix. So join the Now, you can take any number of points in between this vertex and focus, it's enough, right? No need to go behind the F, okay? The focus point. So, right, so taking this as the 1, 2, and 3. I've taken only these 3 points, okay? So, now take down the drafter and draw these points parallel to this directrix line okay in order to get the 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash so you are getting the 1 dash same process what you have done for the ellipse and parabola you need to follow the same process so take out the distance of one and one sorry sorry to have mentioned I uh, need to mention the point this is the one dash two dash and finally here the three dash okay take out the compass measure the distance of the one and the one dash place it at the point here and cut down the points on this one and one dash. Okay? So take this point as P1 and P1 dash. Okay? Next, measure the distance of 2 and 2 dash. The help of the compass 2 and 2 dash and place it at the F and cut down the arcs on this 2 and the 2 dash. Somewhere we are going to get it here. And point out the points. These are the P2 and this is the P2 dash. In the same way, plot the points of the 3 and the 3 dash. So measure the distance of 3 to 3 dash. Okay. And place it at the F here. Cut down the arc here and here. So the space is not available. No problem. So measure the distance. So we are getting the what? P3. And somewhere here we get the P3 dash. Right? So now we need to join all these points P1, P2, P3, same as the P1 dash, P2 dash, and P3 dash, vice versa. Okay? With the help of H grade pencil with the help of the H grade pencil. So I'm using the blast sketch here. Okay. Right. So this is the structure of the hyperbola. I'm drawing it clearly again here. Right. Okay. So
So we got the hyperbola. So next question what you have said is that to draw the normal length tangent at a distance of 50 mm. So with the help of the drafter, fix it tightly, parallel to this axis, find out the point what? 50 mm. So here we are going to get the point, the point M here, okay. So here we are going to get the point M, right. So now join this point M and the F. Join this point M and the F. So at the point F we need to draw the perpendicular line. Okay. So take out the protractor. So sir, before that you need to mention the distance. Okay. Forgotten. So You need to mention the distance that is about 50 mm. Okay, already it's in the question. You need to write it separately again. Right? So, it is a distance about 50 mm. So, after that, take out the protractor at the point of the F, you can draw a perpendicular line okay by taking the m minus the f line surface okay m minus the f and point out this 90 degrees and now what you need is join this point here f to here this point 90 degrees point such that we are going to get the point, this is the T. Okay, join this M and the T. Join this M and the T. So I get going to get what the tangent here. So T to this M. So I'll draw, I'll draw a bit clearly there so you can get, get easy to understand. Okay. I'm rubbing all these things. Alright. So I'm finishing up this diagram neatly again. So now we are going to join this T and the M. So it is going to meet at only this single point. This is the M here. Okay. At this point M you need to draw the normal. So what how, how to draw the normal? So take out the protractor and point out 90 degrees here on this line the T and the T dash. Okay, on this point line T and the T dash. Okay, and now join this point M and this N. Okay, and now you are going to get the normal that is the N and the N dash. Oh, sorry, we need to draw it with the H grip pencil. So, showing you again. So, this is how to draw it. The normal. And this is the tangent T and T dash, the tangent. And normal N and the N dash. So, it is at the distance of about how much? It is at the distance of 50 M. Um, 